Namaskaram. Uh, thank you very much for responding to our invitation, but I will, I would like uh, that before we interact, uh, if we see, and why I am raising this issue now, that I will explain later, but before that I want you to see the uh, video clips which have not been made by me or the Raj Bhavan, which have come the sources, the government, PRD and different media uh, agencies. The, the, they have come from there. So I think I should not block the view, I will go that side. Eh? It's okay? Okay. Then please start. First, we would I would like you to view, uh, just a moment, just a moment, and see, before, before you see it, I would like to read you out. There is a section 124 of IPC, which says, whoever with the intention of inducing or compelling the President of India or the Governor of any state to exercise or refrain from exercising in any manner of the lawful powers of such President or Governor assaults or wrongfully restrains or attempts wrongfully to restrain, attempts wrongfully to restrain, or overawes by means of criminal force or show of criminal force, or attempts to overawe the president or governor shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to seven years and shall also be liable to fine. I hope you will appreciate that this provision, if anything happens which comes under the reach of this provision, that need not be reported to the police. This is a cognizable offence. Action is not to be taken when it will be reported to the police. Whatever happened at Kannur happened in the presence of more than 100 police personnel. And I would like to, to, to express my appreciation of the police people who, were, who tried their best to control the situation there, who stopped these people from reaching me. But in the same video you will see a senior functionary, political functionary, who now works in the office of the Chief Minister, he is preventing the police from acting. In the, in the video itself you will see that he is preventing the police from discharging their lawful duties. And I can only sympathize with those who say that why matter was not reported. No. Matter is not to be reported. If something, some criminal act happens on the road, somebody is attacked, then it is not necessary for that person. This is a cognizable offence. This is not non-cognizable. This is cognizable offence and Indian Penal Court has made this provision only with respect to Honourable President of India and the governors of these states. Now, in a state where people are arrested for wearing black shirt, this thing happens, which you will see on the screen, and then we will talk about it. Hmm? No, first you, first you show how they are trying to overawe me at the stage, and then you show this man who is working in the office of the Chief Minister, 
how he is trying to tell the police not to act. knowing the issue. If you feel that your neighbor is being agitated, you come and... Eight minutes, Oscar. One thing I should also add before you see this. Every program of the governor, final approval of minute-to-minute -minute program is given. And the organizers are bound that there, in fact, a line is written below. No departure from the approved program shall be allowed. The program was for one hour. Irfan Habib Sahab was allotted two or three minutes to speak. He spoke for more than 35 minutes. He did not speak on history. He spoke on CA. He spoke on about the central government, all criticism. And every time he will make a critical remark, he will look at me. It means he wanted me to respond to those remarks. He spoke for more than 35 minutes. The total duration approved was 60 minutes. I was made to sit there for more than 95 minutes. Naturally, I felt that they want me to respond to the points which they have raised. Therefore, I, I say in the beginning of my speech that although it, whatever they have spoken does not pertain to the subject of the conference, but since they have made this point, they expect some response for, for, from me. Therefore, I am going to respond to the points which have been raised. Now, please start. You have very strong sense of empathy, even without knowing the issue, if you feel that you are Neighbor is being agitated, you come and join. But partition has created, it has not impacted, it has inflected the thinking in northern India. I don't know if you have watched yesterday. A leading Pakistani cricketer, Danish Kilani Kinani, what is his name? I don't exactly remember. The voice come. What? He's a he, he's the man. Who has many a times been responsible for the win of the Pakistani team? And yesterday, people all over the world came to know that because he is a Hindu, what kind of torture he has been subjected to. You know, I, I, I firmly believe, and I agree that Pakistan has worked. Partition happened in 1947. But you may say that Pakistan partition of the country is an old story. For Pakistan, Kashmir even today is the unfinished agenda of partition. For you it may be an old story. For Pakistan it is not old. Actually the whole thing is started. Those who are showing, please do not disturb them. They have to, please no, they are do showing not black disturb flag. them. They want to show black flag. They can, they can very happily show. I have no problem. After Shahbano, let me tell you, after Shahbano, I was. They are merely showing black flag. I have been attacked physically three occasions. You have no right to violence or to create disturbance. You want to show black flag, you can show it. You have no right to create disturbance. 
You can please, please, please don't give too much importance to them. Please take your places. What's so important? Now it finds who it comes, who is strong. You have no right to tell me that why did you raise the Kashmir issue? You are he's, the he's there. You are not the arbiter. That we be right. You want to frighten me? The problem is with these people. They want to deny freedom of speech to others. They want to speak, but they don't want to receive response. We should digest everything which they tell us. Why did they not protest when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru started knocking the bottom of Article 370? Why did they not protest during the time of Indraji? Now that it has become an empty house and is being used by Pakistan to do terrorism in India last 30 years. You have, I, I, really, you have come with an agenda. You have a leading thought. You can't shout to down. Again, you can't You can't shout me down. You can't shout me down. Oh, 
हमें रोक रहे हैं बोलने से वो ठीक है तो ये बोलने का तरीका ये है कि रोक रहे हैं। Hundred play cards. Tell me if there was something spontaneous about it. Can you prepare play cards in five minutes' time, in ten minutes' time? They had come prepared with everything, big play cards. So now show it. And now this man goes from stage down there to stop the police from acting. You can see him there. Police, they wanted to do their duty. It was this Mr. Rajesh who stopped them. He was sitting at the stage. Why he went there? He is stopping the police from acting. Have you seen? He is sitting on the stage during my speech when police is trying to control these lawbreakers. He goes down and he stops the police from acting against them. Possibly that is why he has been rewarded. Inaugurate this Congress. That please, you have every right to stick to your opinion. 
but don't try to shut others down. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Have you ever seen anybody who is sitting on the stage going down to the mob? That is the job of the police. They will control them. But he rises from his seat and goes to the audience to stop police from acting. Now, you want to show something more or shall I speak? It's okay? Over? Over. I'm for making this event. I wish... That they were mostly from outside. They were mostly from outside. They were not Kerala people. Kerala people were raising the slogan Bharat Mata Ki Jai when I was speaking. They were not Kerala people. They were mostly from Jamia and JNU and Aliga. And Aliga, I had identified them. I know them. And that is why I refer to the comment of Maulana Azad. It was only after seeing them that I made that comment. I refer to what Maulana Azad had said in 1947, he was also heckled and very bad language was used against him. Then Maulana Azad told the gathering, he said that I was under the impression that the tsunami of, of uh, partition has taken away with it all the dirt and dust and uh, foul things. But it appears that there are some cesspools where that thing has stayed back. And since they, are in, they have become stagnant waters, therefore they smell foul. Maulana Azad had re responded to that heckling only in Aliga. But are you surprised at this behavior? We are living in a state where the convener of the ruling front is banned from flying. Banned from flying, is that right or not? For what? Unruly behavior. They think that it is their right to break the law. And when I said, not just not just convener of the UDF. One minister trashes constitution publicly and he is removed from the Council of Ministers. Another former minister challenges the territorial integrity of India by using the language of Pakistan. Do you think, do you think these are these incidents are merely lapse on the part of these individuals? No. This is how they are indoctrinated in, the, in their training camps. The only mistake they have committed is that they said something which is taught to them. They said it publicly. And that is why I said that there are certain ideologies which have originated outside India, they believe in the legitimacy of the use of force to silence dissent, difference of opinion, and to liquidate, liquidate those whom they consider their class enemies. Who are the class enemies? Class enemies are those who have a politically different viewpoint. I did not ask whether there were members in the, and I did not name anybody. Why CM felt that I am referring to the Communist Party? I am asking this question. There are other terrorists also. But he, he realized because this is what they teach in their camps. Can he deny that the ideology he, he adheres to it allows use of force against the political opponents. How come so many people have been killed in Kannu district? How come so many young lives have been lost in the campuses of Kerala universities? 
how many months back only only recently about two months back or three months back a young bright student was killed in the campus why because to some people and their ideology use of force and irfan habib is i is the icon of that ideology which believes in the use of force against those who have hold different views it is for nothing i mean, don't you feel any sense of shame that the convener of the ruling party is barred from flying by the airline for what for attacking two persons inside the plane so if they attack me here if they can attack inside the plane what is what is so uh, surprising if they attack me there on the stage try to attack me not attack me try to attack me and one question i am raising how come if the reaction was spontaneous or it was a reaction to some of my remark how come these hundred of play cards were there if they had not come prepared and in the light of what i had read earlier ipc provision it was the duty of the to anybody if goes to the court it will become difficult for the police to explain why they did not act and police officers themselves told me that they wanted to act and they were prevented from acting so my my question through you is some papers please try to ref, try to use my words don't try to put because today i have seen what i said yesterday that i am going to ask for investigation no not at all uh, what i had said was i want the media to investigate whether when police was prevented from from do, taking action whether it was also because the main giving instruction was himself party to the conspiracy or it was merely a favor shown to the fellow cadres i i had said i have i have not said that i'm going to ask any agency to investigate no i did not say that i said it is the i request you media to investigate whether like people who had come with the play cards so surely they knew that there is a plan to to intimidate the governor when they were preparing the play cards so the man who gave the instruction to the police not to act was he also part of the cons- party to the conspiracy the man who went down from the stage and prevented police from acting against those who were creating disturbance has he been appointed in the chief minister's office because of that great thing which he did these are my questions i am not asking any official agency to investigate i am asking you to investigate instead of devoting their attention to the roads are in bad condition there are so many problems lottery and alcohol is our main source of revenue what a shame instead of doing anything for the people of kerala instead of developing the infrastructure instead of building the roads instead of improving the tourism infrastructure all their attention is focused on silencing those who differ with them and they are not ready to spare even the raj bhavan can you imagine anybody nobody I, and i'm saying it with all uh, clarity in my mind nobody has any authority to give directions to the raj bhavan whom i should have in my personal staff how the affairs should be conducted the only authority in india is president of india and here a secretary of the government of kerala is forced to write a letter to the raj bhavan trying to dictate how raj bhavan should run its affairs 
and what ultimately they had to eat humble pie. The day I asked for his removal, I was fully aware that man is innocent. But I wanted to send a message that these pressure tactics are not going to work on me. But even that has not opened their eyes. They continue. For how many days before the, I ask you, for how many days write-ups were appearing in the press, government is going to curtail the power of governor. Was it happening before the passage of bill or not? I ask you. Who was sponsoring those articles? I have already told you, you take over as chancellor. Why don't you take over? Where is the, who are you to curtail my powers? My powers come from constitution and convention. It is not your sweet will. You have freedom to malign, to, to undermine, to malign, to heap indignity on the... You are going to cut my powers? Who are you? I have administered oath of office to you, you have not. You, they have crossed all the limits. This is the letter which Chief Minister had written to me, and I will ask them to provide a copy. three letters of the Chief Minister and my replies. You have that? Yes. First letter. Or this is the last letter. No, this is the, this is the first letter which I wrote on December 8. Copy will be supplied to you. Wherein yes, I said, I am sick of this pressure which is brought upon me. And I don't want to continue as Chancellor. If I had any wasted interest, why I would say that I don't want to continue uh, as Chancellor. And I said in this letter that I know that the Assembly is not, since the Assembly is not in session, you can go for an ordinance. And I promise that I shall sign the same immediately. But you become Chancellor. Relieve me of this duty. Why I was forced to write that letter? Chief Minister personally came to Raj Bhavan and requested me that in the matter of the appointment of Kannur University Vice Chancellor, that is his home district, and I agreed with him that I will give weightage to your opinion. You are democratically elected leader. Yes, I shall give weightage to your opinion. But we, ha we have to go through a process. Uh, we, that we did not discuss. We started the process for the selection of the vice chancellor. And my view was that since I have given word to the chief minister, I will, after the three, the panel sends three names, selection committee, they send three names, then I will consult him and I will try to go by his choice. They possibly realize that the man of their choice may not find place in that panel. Therefore, Chief Minister, office people, they contacted me, they came here, and they said that since you have given word to uh, Chief Minister, that man of his choice will be appointed. Therefore, why go through the process? I said, no, we should go through the process. Then his secretary, uh, his uh, legal consultant, he produced a document. This is the opinion of the Advocate General also that direct appointment can be made. I ask you this question. If I have some legal problem, facing some pro legal problem, formally speaking, legally speaking, whom I should consult? AG of the state? Advocate General? Advocate General, without my asking, the opinion is already there. I have not asked for this opinion. The opinion he produced. I said, why I should believe that this is from AG? This is or has not been signed. Okay. 
can we come in the evening again? I said, most welcome. So they come in the evening and they produce not only the, the opinion of the AG, but also the request from the education minister who happens to be pro-chancellor. Same thing, and saying that I'm sending the opinion of Advocate General. Now what was the course open for me? To enter into a legal battle because AG opinion is already there? And I had give, I'm saying, I'm not defending, I have already said that that was not right on my part to make that promise. I have already admitted to that mistake many times. But I had given word, it is true. I had not given word that I shall scuttle the process. They forced me with the letter of the Advocate General to scuttle the process. And Chief Minister in his defense said that under article so and so, governor acted on the advice of the AG. AG immediately next day clarified the position that Raj Bhavan never sought my advice. Advice was given to the education ministry who had sought my advice. Why education ministry sought his advice? To bring pressure on me. I realized that this pressure is going to continue. Therefore, I decided that I should not continue as chancellor. And I wrote the letter which I have already told you and they will provide the copies in which I said I am ready to sign even an ordinance. You become the chancellor. Now, this letter was replied on December 8 itself. I am not going into it. I did not accept in which request was made to me to continue as chancellor. I, I did not accept it. I wrote on the same day, uh, next day, December 9, saying that I do not accept the explanations which you have given and I stand by my decision. The reply came on 16 December, again requesting me that I will have to continue as chancellor. Then even this I did, rejected. But I said, why continue this letter writing? I do not have that kind of relationship that I should enjoy reading these letters. So I, I said, now I'm not going to comment. If when I did not comment, then on, where is the last letter? Yes, it is here, the last letter. The last letter, all the ifs and buts, and to give you the complete story, a senior officer of the government, came to Raj Bhavan with a draft and requesting me, ask me what I want to be written so that I, I can continue as chance. I made some modifications in that draft. And then this letter, same evening, came from Chief Minister. And the earlier letter also, he had said that government does not have any proposal to make any change in the as far as the selection of the vice chancellor is concerned. He has written in his letter, you will read it. More interesting is something else which I will tell you about Professor Sienna Rao and Professor Panikar. If I forget, please remind me. Now this finally, this letter came, which was on 13th January, in which all ifs and buts were dropped. I was requested to continue as chancellor. I was assured, now I'm quoting from the letter of the chief minister. I am of the considered opinion there should not be any intrusion into the academic autonomy of the universities from any quarter, leave alone government. He assured me that he will ensure there is no interference by the government or any other agency. I have not written this letter. He has signed it this letter. And now what they are doing? They are not only changing the law, but saying in that law that there will be five members of the selection committee, three will be nom nominees of the government, 
and the decision will be taken by majority. Academic matters decision will be taken by majority. So does he remember what he had written to me? Now I will tell you something interesting. Where is the first letter? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The first letter in which I have said that I would like to bring to your kind notice that on the day Chancellor's awards were given, I had referred to the letter of Professor C. N. R. Rao, Professor C. N. R. Rao, who has expressed his concern about the about serious problems in the higher education sector. He says that all bright students from Kerala migrate to other states. They don't want to continue higher education in Kerala. I'm not saying this. Professor C. N. R. Rao is saying this. Letter will be made available. And then I also referred to Professor K. N. Panikar, who was vice chancellor of Sanskrit University, Shankaracharya University, and also vice chairman. Earlier, he was vice chairman of the Higher Education Council. In his article, Quest for Quality, he has said the same thing. So I, I mentioned these things that, if you recall, I had mentioned Professor C. N. R. Rao and Professor Panikar, that we need to pay attention the melody with which higher education in Kerala is suffering. Now, now listen to the reply, the letter to the first reply. What opinion he has about Professor C. N. R. Rao Bharat Ratna and Professor Panikar. He says, while the state is taking strenuous efforts to create a knowledge economy by raising quality of higher education to new levels, strident propaganda to malign the universities and to give adverse publicity about the centers of higher learning in Kerala have also been noted. He feels that Bharat Ratan, Professor C. N. R. Rao and Professor Panikar are indulging in propaganda against the Kerala government. I need not comment on that. He says in his press conference, have I ever, in, I'm asking you, have I ever invited before to the Rajabhavan or to the airport or any place where I'm staying? No. But when I come out of my room, when I reach the airport, if I see that media people are waiting there, I, I consider that I consider it necessary on my part that if they are they have from the city they have gone to the airport outside Cochin guest house they are waiting for more than an hour I should stay there for five minutes and respond to their queries he says in his press conference any being places mic before him and he starts his speaking are you any being or you are one of the important pillar of the state. I ask you, how do you, why do you, why do you, uh, why do you not question when these kind of remarks are made? It is the duty of the media. If you will allow to be treated in this manner, then many more people, they will, why, why? I'm not fighting any personal battle. I'm not going to be here in this Rajbhavan forever. After some time, I will go. But the man who comes after me, he will have this question about me, that I compromise the dignity of the Rajbhavan. You have a duty for your future generations also. He, the words which he has used are, any being places might before him. Is it okay? Are you just any being? Should I stop? Should I stop stopping when I see you? 
waiting for for quite some time i think this is a this is a courtesy which must be extended to our media and that is why strong i have never invited never before today i have never invited press for any interaction yes if they have asked to interview me i have i have i have done that and famously the man who calls you any being it is reported that he used the word kalakku puratta he had he had said to you not to me how do you tolerate these things kalakku puratta democracy liberty freedom of expression the freedom of media eternal vigilance is required if you don't want them to be diluted if you will digest these remarks and you will not question back then so far he has said kadakku puratta then he will ask his meant to throw you out of the campus if you if you if you won't take uh, uh, if you, you will not yourself guard your freedom so so with this i do not want to say anything more if you ask want to ask any question i am big ha i i said i said before sorry uh, you may ask me question and i have because i have said earlier i will explain why i am raising this issue now honestly after kanur i was i had this thing in my mind that this was something which irfan habib saab is known for violent activities at aligarh you check with anybody he was leader of the fourth grade employees union hardly any one year went when he had not physical uh, encounters with people you can check it and go for long period of time he was leading this labor union and labor union these things happened so i thought maybe is part of the moment he did something but when i when when i came to know that there were play cards which i came to know much later i had not seen the video i generally don't wa- watch tv i came to know much later and few months later i went to delhi a very senior official of the government came to see me uh, not in his official capacity uh, my junior in aligarh uh, like a brother to me and he said are you what your intelligence was doing i said why are you asking this question he said in delhi we were aware that this is going to happen 5 days before actually it happened Hey, I, people in JNU generally know that this is going to end. So, what your intelligence was doing? It's okay. Then I was not aware till about till about a week back that this political secretary of the chief minister tried to he ask police not to act against them. I was not aware of this. I was aware that. instructions have gone not to register the case that i was aware but still i wanted to give cons because i was personally involved therefore i was ready to let it go but when i realized that this was a much deeper plot and plot was not please don't write that they they they, they are, i feared attack or liquidation no they know the consequences what will happen if they touch me they simply try to intimidate me over or me to prevent me from exercising my duty as governor and this vice chancellor was used to ensure that i am present on the he came to invite me i ask you one question irfan habib repeatedly said why he came to the congress and this vice chancellor never not even once responded that i had invited he did not 
where is that uh, where is that uh, uh, vice chancellor when when raj bhavan asked the vice chancellor to send the report about the incident then what he has written you know he says in his response he says he is not a security expert therefore he cannot write anything about the incident Ifa Habib is a globally, Ifa Habib is a globally non-veteran historian, and he is 88 years old. How is it believable that he is physically attacking you on a public video? You don't believe your eyes. No, video is there. In that visuals, video is in that visuals. Never see that he is trying. He is strong. He is stopped by security to come near me. No, he is never trying to come to you. You are then where he was trying to go. He is passing behind you. No, no, no. Man, push him. Just, just, just a minute. He has his quarters, but he is just a minute, please. He is never trying to attack. Just a minute, please. Just a minute. Five people are sitting here. Seven people. He is sitting there. Why he is coming towards me? He has quarters. You will protest. Protest. What are you will? You will intimidate. No. Uh, you are always saying that. Uh, uh, whatever it is. Whatever it is. I have. I have, I have listened to your speech. Unauthorized speech for thirty-five minutes. I did not write. I did not point out that you are taking more time than it was allotted to you. Why you rise from your seat there and you come to the behind me because he could not reach me because you see security people is stopping him. Even the vice chancellor was because then he realized that what is going to happen. He was the vice chancellor himself was there standing between him and me. Security was standing between him and me. If you rise from your seat and you charge towards me, don't I have a right to think that you are trying to intimidate me? You are trying to attack me? But you even call him a Buddha basically, Ifa Khabib. It's very difficult for the video that you didn't even write it that. But you, you, are, you are you are not right. You are not right because in video you can't see the actual distance. He tried to reach me. He was not allowed to reach me. Why he wanted to reach me? I am asking why he wanted to reach me. He can come and protest outside Raj Bhavan. Why on the stage? And when he had taken 35 minutes, he was allotted only two minutes. If he is a known historian, it gives him right. He is telling me I should not quote Mahatma Gandhi. I should quote God said. ये ये अगर घुंडा बंदी नहीं है तो देन व्हाट इट इज ही विल डिक्टेट व्हाट आई शुड डू सो आई मेंस ऑन द प्रोसेस यू कम्युनिकेट योर स्पीच देयर एंड यू मेंस ऑन द स्टेज सिंपली बट इफ यू हैव एनी डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन देयर वाज अ अटैक टू अटैक यू देन व्हाई कैन यू रीड दैट एट दैट टाइम व्हाई आर यू रीडिंग इट नाउ व्हाई आर यू यूजिंग इट आई आई डोंट नो इन व्हिच वर्ड यू आर रीडिंग Actually, the matter was discussed in the press for days. That an attempt was made on me. You just, you, I did not wish to speak at that time because that was the beginning of the period. I have already explained that for quite some time I was the impre under the impression that Irfan Habib acted out of his own way of doing things as he used to do in Adelaide. Actually, you are saying it now. Why, why, why are you not said that all these people? I am just saying. I I did not <laughs> say it. So, you, so many people said it even at that time. I chose not to say it because I thought it is. I should not take up my my matter. It is for the police to air. It is for other. I am head of the state. I should not take up my matter. Therefore, I did not. And even now, I would not have said it if the if the chief minister had not continued with the same attitude. and threatening tactics which i cannot accept so therefore now i i suspect i tell you one thing recently aligarh muslim university invited prime minister shri narendra modi to address the university community if i have carried a campaign against that for 15 20 days did he did not do anything like this there yeah? he knows who is chief minister in uttar pradesh 
if it tries to intimidate anybody, what will happen to him? Here we know that he has 10 followers in the government. Therefore, he can resort to any intimidatory tactics. No, I have not said that he should go to the state for that. I am saying, I am saying, has he been rewarded for that? This is the question which I have raised. Has he been rewarded for that? I don't know how come you could you. I am very sorry, maybe my language is very poor. I am not able to convey the message. What we can see is that he's coming and standing out in the crowd and talking, but literally we can't see or hear anything when he's you may not see office. You may not see anything if you do not wish to see. But a man who is supposed to sit on the stage, is it okay? In a meeting where governor is the chief guest, for one of the guests to go down and uh, it was his duty to control the crowd, but it was the duty of the police. He may be talking to anybody. It may, he may be talking to anybody. And I don't want to entertain five people at the same time. One person. One person, if I am replying to her, don't interrupt me. He may be talking to anybody. Where was the need for him? Who is he? He is. He is shown on the dice. He is shown on the dice. Why he why he goes away from the dice? Is it open to various kind of interpretations or not? And we can't hear anything from the video what he was talking to the police. I'm not saying I have not recorded it. You have recorded, media agencies have recorded, government department has recorded. I'm not saying the very fact that five people, seven people are sitting on the dice. One of them, when disturbance takes place and police tries to control them, then one of them goes there and talks first to police and then to other. What does it mean? Sir, 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 I don't want to join issue on this. You have, you are entitled to your opinion. And here, even somebody walking from the state and going to the enclosure itself is a security risk. It is a security hazard. I am telling you, it is a security hazard. We do not know for what purpose he had gone there. Nobody is supposed under the security guidelines. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Now you have you were not talking about visual, you were talking, and now I am replying to you, and you are you are interrupting me. This is not right. Anybody who is on the stage, ah, uh, they can leave their places only after governor leaves. This is a clear cut security instruction. Has he breached that or not? You are entitled to your views. I am not joining issue. They ask everybody on the stage is under instruction not to leave the stage before governor leaves. Sir, I have a question. Yesterday you have met with Arthur Sassan Kalaku, Mohan Bharat. So, what is the purpose of that meeting? Uh, if I come to have some uh, key actor players that uh, newspapers people, people will ask me what was the purpose of going to your house. Because that, that I don't I am knowing what's the controversy. I am you are you are free to raise any controversy. How can I control? I can control my actions, I can't control your reactions. Who am I? I have been I have addressed at least at least maybe more. The biggest event for RSS is their training OTC officers training. And on the last day, they invite people who are not part of the RSS, prominent people, to speak to them. One or two speakers. At least six times are by that. That kind of relationship I enter. So, what? Sir, 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 sir,
Sir, listen. We are ask, we are asking this question because the ruling party is alleging that you are acting on behalf of our That's why we are asking this question. If these people can adhere to an ideology which has originated outside India, I do not have a right to have friendship with others. Please reply. Don't sit quietly now. You have right to have loyalty to an ideology which has not originated in India. You have right to believe in the use of force. So, so ideology is your problem now? My ideal, ideology no, is not, not problem. Your... Problem is actions which are thrown out of that ideology. Uh, you Where you want to you want to use pressure tactics to frighten people, intimidate people. I'm asking you how many murders have happened in Kalu? Tell me. I was uh, done that all. You are saying that. You are saying that RSS has never been in the government uh, whose responsibility is to ensure that these do not happen. Who failed in his duty? Yes, BJP is ruling in uh, India. Are you advocating for RSS? Eh? Are you advocating for RSS? I am. Ask in a clear manner. Huh? You are speaking for RSS now. You can, you can help that opinion. Sir, you can help that opinion, but remember, but remember, my association or whatever relationship I have is started in 1986 when they supported me on Shaban office. And as they were supporting me, Mr. Nambudri Park was also supporting me. Yes. But later, after Nambudri Park, the left changed its stance. Now they became supporters of personal law. They started inviting personal law board people to their offices. RSS has consistently supported me. The left supported me till 91. So if they change, I can't be held responsible for that. Now BJP has been trying to support you. Now you think, do you think that RSS is a bad organization? Do you think they are indulging uh, in something? Do you, do you why why Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru? I am asking you, why Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru invite them to participate in the Republic Day Parade? I am asking you. Sir, uh, do you think CPM is a banned organization? Uh, you no, I am not, not saying. I am not saying. We are not saying as is a banned organization. Then, then where is the problem of my meeting with you? You can have secret. Sir, how do you justify if it, uh, you are in the position of Kerala governor? How do so, you justify a uh, uh, meeting of uh, my God? Man, people, people who have who who are openly affiliated, officially associated with with RSS are here in many Raj Bhavans. Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee during his Prime Ministership said, I am first a saver, I am first a swam saver. And you are, you have problem with my meeting the RSS uh, chief? Many people, many people who are, have been active members of the RSS, they are in the Raj Bhavans. If, if there is no problem in their being in Raj Bhavan, the resident of the Raj Bhavan meeting him, how can it be a problem? Sir, the meeting was... Uh, actually, 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 some logic. Actually, what, was the, actually, what yeah. was the purpose of that meeting with Mohan Baba? Eh? Actually, what was the purpose of that meeting with RSS? With RSS? Ah. To wish him well. Governor, what was the CPM is asking for that? He, was, he, had come to, he had come to an area which is part of the state of which I am heading. Therefore, and I was in that area and I did not travel from Tendenda. I was not even aware that he's coming. And if I come to know that I am in Trishul and he is also in Trishul, I have gone to meet him to wish him well. And if again he is there, I will go and meet him. Please let the lady ask. You have already asked my question. Then after that. What the CPM is alleging and the government is alleging is that under the behest of the gov uh, of RSS, you are trying to sabotage this government. Uh, would you like to Let them complain to the president. 
they should not complain to you. The disciplining authority is President of India. Why, why don't they complain to the President? Sir, the so the conversation will be between the last government and the government. It has been almost like a boiling point. So is there is there any 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 reconciliation? Because uh, okay. in Bihar, Bihar governor Satyapal Maliki was asked about this. He said that the government and the governor should work in tandem. So is there an atmosphere right now where you cannot work in tandem? Can there is no reconciliation. Can I seek your advice? <laughs> sir, sir, could I just say it? Please let me. This is not fair. Then somebody asks you a question and I am replying to you, and you interrupt in between. Sorry. Is it okay? Sorry, sorry. I'm seeking your advice, your kind advice. If you can, shall I sign the university bill? <laughs> well, relations will improve immediately. Shall I sign the Lokai bill, which gives which play a person? If there is an allegation against you, you can't be judged in your own court. And this bill is aimed at making the accused person judge of his own cause. The relations will improve tomorrow. You are you tell me you advise me that I sign both the will and relations will be will be good tomorrow. Sir, 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 before the bills were passed by the assembly, there were number of articles in the press that government is going to curtail the powers of the government. Is that right? Sir. You can do anything to frighten me. I can't take any stand on your pressure tactics. This, don't play these games with me. I have seen enough. Sir, 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 you are asking me this question, or you are asking me this question, or you are giving me this information. I have not been able to get proper. He is meeting me for because of this other issue, or sir, you are asking me. No, there was nothing about that. There was there was nothing. There was. I am getting to sit here. Help, probably. Let me give. I want to use the words. I want to use the words which I use. <laughs> and I bar the speaker's call. <laughs> we are the speaker PSA. Yes. Am I going to use it? Other factors that you will do. But you can deal with one person at one time. So he did not. There was no discussion on any of these characters. His daughter is getting married. Therefore, he has come to me. So is there any main such Chief Secretary, his daughter is going to be married. Two person, get, get. lady, you have already asked the question. I will now give him a chance, and then I will come back. I will come back. Sir, you already given the letter to Chief Minister. Now the government can take over the Chancellor's post. Sorry, you already written the letter to the Chief Minister. The government can take over the Chancellor Chancellor's post from the government. Governor, do you still continue with that position? I am asking you, you are putting me, yes, yes, why yes, because the, if we go by the provisions which have been adopted in the new bill, then they will commit illegality and they will ask me to endorse it. I am not going to legalize their illegalities. They have every right to pass a bill where they can take the post of chancellor to themselves and if that bill is passed, I will sign it immediately. Sir, you... But what they want to do, what they want to do, they don't want to put their signature. They want to commit illegality. They want to avoid their... I, I, I ask you one question. Shri Narayan University was created through instrumentality of ordinance. Is that right or not? Lady, is that right or not? University was created through the instrumentality of ordinance. When ordinance is brought, when there is some contingency, there is some urgency. This was just before election. And then, when I intervened, I, I, 
I, I talked to UGC people, I talked to so many people in Delhi and they finally told me that unless an act is passed, this ordinance is converted into a we will be able to help the vice chancellor. And they were all ready to help. And with great pressure I wrote to Chief Minister, I talked to him, I said, this university you have created in the name of Shri Nara and Guru. So please do it immediately. Finally, after a few months, it was bill was passed. Now, bill was passed because of my pressure. But how they use the misuse the power of ordinance. After passing the bill, it, the government sanctioned the faculty one and a half year later. Total one year academic loss was there. Then why you why you created the university through ordinance if you were not interested in, in sanctioning the faculty? Kerala University recently CAG report, read it. There are several departments in the Kerala University. MG University. Universities have been right into the government. And government does not sanction anything. Sir, 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 yes. And that, uh, what you are suggesting, I will take into consideration, but I have not, I have not entertained any idea. Why, sir? Sir, 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 Why? Because I do not personally do feel that it's dangerous, but I feel that it's dangerous. Sir, sir, I have a question that. You know, when you are raising uh, the, uh, the market in the higher ticket sector, hmm? when you are raising questions against the market in the higher ticket sector, especially in the office of VC and other officials, you have done a head time also because when as uh, Chief Minister uh, met you requesting that the country is his hometown and you would consider his uh, nominee, then you are through the uh, military request. Uh, shall I reply? Yeah. Uh, I do not know how many times I have said that I committed a mistake. How many times you want me to say that? Even, even on the first day itself I said, possibly half an hour before I also said, that was a mistake on my part. But, but there was no illegality involved because I had thought that I will ask him to give his choice when the process of the selection committee is over, three persons, three names will be recommended and I have a discretion to appoint any one of them and I will appoint men of his choice. But three days later, he feared that maybe his choice may not be in that case, among those three names. <laughs> because this man, who is the vice chancellor of Kandu University, does not have any great academic credit. It, he has only been doing this thing here he was a lackey of Mishinur Hassan Sahib in Jamia Melia. Here he quotes these, some of the politicians. Therefore, he possibly he feared that his name may not appear in that. Therefore, he said all these people. And they, I, I have repeatedly said, you are going to repeat it, I am repeating it, but I have repeatedly said, if the opinion of Advocate General was not a complete, I would not have accepted the recommendation of the education minister or chief minister. But my problem was opinion of the Advocate General. Because formally and legally speaking, if I am facing a legal dilemma, who is the person whom I should approach first unless I want to bypass agreement? The Advocate General. So they use the office of Advocate General to pressurize me. And there I have said, you are asking a question. You are trying to reinvent the wheel. I have repeatedly said that was a mistake. I do not know if it was a sin, but definitely it was a mistake. Because what I had thought was three names will come to me officially. I will ask the chief minister, if, as he has said, that it is my mistake. Then I will ask him, indicate your choice, and I will exercise my discretion in favor of the person the chief minister said. Because he is, after all, a democratically elected person. So, like, how many times you want me to say that yes, I committed a mistake there. So, and it was, this mistake was not so much because of the word which I had given to Chief Minister or the recommendation which was made by the Education Minister. 
I was left with no choice. Either start a legal battle or accept that. And I was not in the mood to start legal battle. Therefore, this this opinion of the AG bound my life. Yes. Sir, yesterday you said TMP some favor. Okay. What was that and when? Uh, I said because he has been, he is asking for my examination and all that. Therefore, I also went that uh, I also, I don't want to discuss those things. But I think you should ask him and you may ask some senior officer who came on behalf of the behalf. One more thing. Yes. How did the confrontation with the government the general saying that the post with the governor have now become more political rather than political? How do you react to that? I, I don't react to that. I will see. I have sought his advice. I will seek your advice. No, please. In relations, there will be no confrontation. Tomorrow relations will be normal. Shall I sign the university bill which gives authority not only for interference? But give the authority to appoint vice chancellors to the government. You do you please no, no, listen to listen to me. Listen to me. Shall I sign a bill which proposes that a person should be given authority to sit in judgment in his own court? I ask you. No, no, no. No. I, because I had already said this thing and you are asking the same question. So I am saying there is nothing personal between Chief Minister and me. It is all because I stayed the appointment of one of his AD's relative. So if, if, I, if I take back that state, if I sign the university bill, if I sign the law pilot bill, relations will become open. So you agree with you must also as a citizen have an opinion that, that whether uh, government controlling the universities is okay or not, you should also have an opinion. You should also have an opinion whether any citizen of India can be given the right to be judged in his own courts. Will that be acceptable to the courts? You should also have an opinion. Oh, so you have not arrived at a decision whether to give assent to these bills or not? I have not even seen the bills. So here is a question of coming. But I have made it clear. As long as I am Chancellor, I will not allow the government interference in the universe. I shall not allow the basic principle of jurisprudence, which, which totally totally not any iota of doubt does not allow a person to sit in judgment in his own cause. I am not going to make any compromise on the basic principles. As far as personal relations are concerned, even on Onam there was exchange of gifts between the chief and Where is the problem? Sir, Sir, do you find that George company in his KKR is to no, 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 I will not. I, I have already told you, I have constitutional powers. I don't want to exercise my legal powers. My, I will rather go to the people of Kerala and let them know what is happening in Kerala. Sir, if the, if, the, if, the, if, the state, if the state doesn't act its own, so will you try to involve the sender to act against Professor Ifan Habib? No, no. Sir, then what action you have? If I am doing something is not important, Rajesh is not important. Important thing, why they did this to me? They wanted to silence me on CA. Here, why they are making this pressure? So that I sign the bill, so that I sign the Lok Ayuk bill, so that I sign the university bill. Please stay on the issues. Individuals are not important at all. Now, what action are you expecting now from on the Tamil incident? What action are you expecting from the government? Uh, I, I should expect any action. I can I can decide my actions. I can't decide other things. So you are not you, you are not expecting any action from the government. Right? I do not know what to do. So I do not know what to do. That's why process. So the government is bound to act, but it hasn't. So what is I mean, it is up to them. I am only saying that because of CAA, they wanted to silence me. Therefore, they lose turnover. Now they are using these things so that.
that I come under pressure and sign the university bill and blow my bills. On basic principles, there is no way I can compromise. Sir, in the, in the starting of this part, Yes. In the starting of this meeting, you said that you are uh, not seeking for an uh, inquiry or any agencies in the country. No, no. So, uh, you are trying you to... Look at the, you no, look at no, the no, video. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I will not yes. ask any. My question is, uh, you are trying, just trying to uh, politicize this issue. You can say that, but, but a cognizable offence, if a murder happens on the road and police does not act, and if you speak against it, is that politicization? Any what happened in Kanu is in the category of cognizable offences where no report is needed. And I am not ready to accept that police would not have acted. Police did not act because they were told not to act. I want to bring it to the knowledge of the people of Kerala. I don't want, I am not demanding any action. No, not at all. The omission of duty is as wrong as a commission of someone. Sir, remember. No. Sir, as Chancellor, what are the actions you have taken to, you know, I, I won't take any action. My no, action, no. Uh, my action is to so many, so many, like, so many complaints have been raised to you, right? You already right, received right, multiple right. complaints from uh, organizations like uh, uh, Save University Forum and all. Yes. But uh, what are the actions you have taken to cleanse the? Uh, I have taken the action. I have stated the appointment at Kanu. I'm so happy when Chief Minister had his press conference, and I welcome him. Why? Because so far he, so far he was using his proxies to attack, to undermine the office of the government. Now he has come out openly, publicly. Therefore, he will receive the reply. But he has also charged that you have been, uh, you know, he has every, uh, to get some benefits, and it has no, not. In the, in the example. He said that, you know, give the example, give one example of seeking any favor. Give one example. Sir, you can talk in the air. Here there is a concrete case where Kerala University Vice Chancellor is instructed to defy the Chancellor. You have all published in your papers. Where another university Vice Chancellor is giving instruction to defy the Vice Chancellor. Uh, the order of the chancellor. Here is a concrete case where the relatives of the of the personal staff of the chief minister was being given appointment. If he is making any charge against him, let me give the example. Some instance. So you said that certain pressure tactics are being only pressure tactics. To sign these two bills. I mean, this is that is all. That is all. And that is why I am on CA. They wanted to silence him. Therefore, they organized Kanu. How can Vice Chancellor, who has invited me, can say that I am not in a position to write report of the incident because I am no security expert? Sir, please specify what are the pressure techniques you have employed to make these are pressure techniques, sir. You are trying to intimidate me. Not through press conference, not just through press conference. Have mm. you not seen the number of articles which have appeared in the paper? Governor's power are going to be cut in. They are in the habit of using their cadre, their party <coughs> of a Do you know what had happened to Mr. Gawai when he had given sanction to prosecute Mr. Penrai Vijayan in that case? There was a vicious campaign against against the then governor Gawai. There is nothing new. These tactics are very old. They are because their ideology permits use of force. Therefore, they feel no, no hesitation to bring down the dignity of the office. Sir, sir, sir the people of Kerala elected the government knowing the ideology try to uh, attack the government on the basis of ideology. I have no problem with that. But election does not mean that you have been elected. You have been elected to act according to law, not to break the law. How is it possible? You tell me. How is it possible? If somebody in my office 
asks for a favor from the chancellor, from vice chancellor of the university, and says that you appoint my brother or sister in the university. Can I can I escape the responsibility? How can you? These two things are. You have been elected to work in accordance with law, not to break the law. You have been elected to not to favor people, not to have bias against people. In fact, the oath which a minister takes is, I shall do justice to all manner of people without any feeling of ill will or favor. You are violating your oath because what happens when an underqualified person you are trying to appoint that underqualified person, then a person with 467 marks in the UGC ranking, many more published works, senior education, teaching experience, he is ignored, he goes to the court. Then, then you are doing injustice to him or not? Uh, and can I ask you when I state this appointment, who will be the beneficiary, some RSS member? Who is, who is the number one person there? Has he any connection with RSS? He has no connection with RSS. The man who has gone to the court and he has been banned as the top, top by these people. But they have banned every door. The time which was taken by this candidate to pursue her research, they have counted as teaching experience against the regulation of the UGC and they have bent every rule. So this is permissible. Ideology is okay, India is a liberal country. I may not agree with an ideology, but I have no objection to any ideology. India is a liberal country. He is entitled to his opinion. Why I should come in on that? He is entitled to his opinion. I have repeatedly told you, I love Kerala, I love myself. If you don't want to listen to me, if you want to listen to me, it is your choice. Many, many states, there is a conflict going on between governor and the state government. All these states are all BJP ruling states. Why is it so? You should try to find out the reason. How do I know? I have given you my reasons. I have given you. I have given you my reasons that if I sign, if I agree to this proposal, that the I give the power to appoint the vice chancellors to the government, and I give the power to judge your own case if there is any complaint against you. Relations will be normalized tomorrow. But so you want me to normalize the relations on 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 that basis? No, but. You are not putting any action on the side of the government. So you are also just trying we to... Are, we are living in a democracy. You are too but much you used to the government. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. First you talk. Yeah. Then I will. So you are the government of the state. So if something wrong has happened to the government, so you are the person in charge of it. Oh. Now you are playing, blaming the government. government, oh. government. You are not accepting oh. that. Oh. Okay. That I, if I am a head of the state, I have constitutional power. Those constitutional <laughs> powers can be exercised only when you are totally convinced that there is collapse of constitutional machinery. This cannot be for 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 things where government cannot can can use pressure tactics. They cannot force me to sign those bills. So there is no constitutional crisis. But. We did, instead of always thinking in terms of what action you are taking, we should all think more in terms of making the working of the government transparent and let people know what is happening, what, what is the purpose people have elected the government for and what they are doing. To me that is more important. I believe in democracy. I don't believe in action so much. When if, if we are able to there is public awareness, then many action in, in normal circumstances, maybe in some other state, the candidate so after all this controversy and it's becoming public, public that the candidate is underqualified. Possibly the, the, the responsible person would have given him instruction to say that I am withdrawing my candidate. But here you commit a wrong. And then you defend it. This is a wonderful experience. Are we both fighting for the people? Are we both fighting for the people? Are we? Are we both? I might 
my job, I have already said, I have the oath which I have given is to minister, protect, defend the constitution and the law, and to devote myself to the welfare and good of the people of Kerala. If I think something is happening in Tirmendra by the government, which is not good for the people of Kerala, if I do not have the legal power to, to stop it, I will definitely try to let people know that this is happening so that people can, can do something. Now they are clear, sir. Actually, they are clear. The people are clear. You think so? The rest are clear. Of course, I am representing people. How many questions you have already asked? You are always saying that you are fighting against the terrorism, sir, corruption, and all. No, I have never said. I have never said. I have said what I have said is, please don't try to talk about it. Put words in my mouth. I have said. They have a right to do whatever they have done. I have an obligation, a constitutional duty to perform. I am no warrior for all these causes. My position does not allow. I am only thing which is which is obligated for me is to ensure that constitution is protected, jurisprudence is protected. Universities are protected from the interference. I said I have a duty to perform an obligation. Whatever you are trying to say, that I have never said. How many people I can hear? Yes, I have two years, but I can hear only one person. What is the solution for the Solution? Where is the problem? The solution, the solution is already here. Do think there is a problem? Sir, I don't think that I don't allow interference in the university. That is a fact. Sir, sir, Where is the problem? Sir, sir, sir. What are the last sir, sir. Pressure tactics that the government is going on. Sir, sir. You are the best judge to know because all the pressure tactics are they are expressed through media. They are threatening this is last three months. Governor's power are going to be cut. There are a lot of media reports. Right upside that I had a they are, they are saying he is acting on at behest of RSS. Give me one single instance where anybody associated with RSS or BJP has found any place, not appointment, not even any committee of the university. And every day they are writing, I am working at the behest of RSS. So these are not pressure tactics. Give me one name. If any person associated with BJP or RSS has been nominated on any committee in the university, in any university, sir. I have not, I have, I have not grown in that culture. Sir, 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 but the still the man, the, the, the brilliance, our the brilliance of Kerala is fighting. Uh, and that is the whole, that is my concern, sir. All the bright students of Kerala, all the bright students of Kerala, according to Dr. CNN, are raw. They migrate from Kerala. According to Dr. K.N. Panikar, they migrate from Kerala. I was talking to a group of Kerala students in Delhi. I invited them. I said, I am not trying to persuade you to come back to Kerala, but I want to know the reason why you don't want to study in Kerala. They said, there are, sir, there are so many reasons, but one reason alone is sufficient for our decision to study outside Kerala. And I said, what is that? If we take admission into a course which should be completed in five years' time, in Kerala it will take more than six years. So at least I save one academic year. How many violent incidents in the university? Who is responsible for that? Vice chancellors are absolutely fearful of one member of the syndicate who is nominated by the government as the middleman. He is the one who conveys instructions to the, to the vice chancellor. This solid state of affairs must come to an end.
I will do everything to finish it. Thank you. 